Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing alright. So getting into the specific types of uh, magnets that can be made, and in particular we're going to be looking at the, um, the uh, or it's, as, as it's called, a neodymium magnet, also known as, uh, this is like the periodic chemical um, name or um, uh, uh, classification they've given it, uh, capital N, lowercase d, capital F, uh, cap, uh, capital B, capital N, uh, I think that's just a, an L, lowercase L, and then a capital B, or uh, neo, uh, neo di um and it's composed of iron and boron uh, to form the N, uh, capital N, <laughs> lowercase d, 2, uh, capital F, uh, lowercase e, 4, capital B, uh, tetraanguinol, tetraanguinol, sorry if I mispronounced that, crystalline structure. <clears throat> so developed independently in 1984 by General Motors and sub, uh, sum, summitomo, sum, summitomo, summitomo special metals, uh, neodymium, excuse me, magnets are the strongest type of permanent magnet, uh, permanent magnet available commercially. So that also, that commercially, so yeah, I, I know that they, I mean, I'm about 99% positive they have technology that is not being um, told to the public. So, I mean, that's a very possibility that they have super high powerful magnets that are not being available commercially. But these are the ones that are available commercially. So we're going to work with these ones. Uh, so neodymium, sorry if I mispronounced that, magnets are the most widely used um, type of rare earth magnets. So again, I'm not going to go over that formula again because we're done. Magnets can be classified as sintered or uh, or bonded depending on the manufacturing process used. They have replaced other types of magnets in many applications in modern products that require strong uh, permanent magnets such as electric motors in uh, cordless tools, hand disc drives, and magnetic fasteners. Uh, so yeah, again, I already talked about how there could be effects, but it, because, wait, wait, my thoughts, the more powerful magnets, the more powerful the pull or repel force, so with more powerful magnets, there could uh, increase one's height of lift capability. So yeah, yeah my thoughts, uh, so essentially the more powerful the magnet um, would allow you more powerful ability to, of a lift. You know, you can be able to lift your vehicle structure, whatever it may be, a little bit higher if you have a higher grade um caliber magnet so it makes sense all right anyways i love you guys um this all came from a uh, wikipedia search on i think um i'm not exactly sure but it came from wikipedia so all right i love you guys y'all take care bye